Hello everyone, my name is Stuart Van Cleve. I'm the Web and Digital Services Librarian at Winona State University, and today we're going to find articles with Google Scholar. We're going to start at the main page for Google, and we're going to type in Scholar and click the first link. It looks a lot like Google. Students like it for that reason. And it allows you to search multiple libraries at the same time, a lot of databases. Uh, we're going to use Winona as an example. One thing to keep in mind with Google Scholar is that it will give you a ridiculous amount of results. So it's really too much. So you're going to want to use some of those tricks um, with punctuation in search bars that's going to help you reduce the number of results that you have so that you're much more specific. One of the tools that we're going to use is the quotation mark. So the quotation mark says that we want Winona followed by Minnesota um, in this order. Um, that's important because otherwise Google Scholar will scramble the word Winona and the word Minnesota, um, and it will move them around um, quite a bit. So we had 18,000 results. If we click on search, we lost 14,000. So there were 14,000 results that had scrambled the word Winona and Minnesota. Um, so you can do this with your regular Google searches as well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in the minus sign and we're going to type in the word university. So in this example, we're going to try to cut out references to Winona State University. So we're interested in the town of Winona, Minnesota and not necessarily the university. So when you type in a minus sign and then you follow that up with a word, it will subtract that word and all evidence of that word from your search results. This is true in Google Scholar. It's true in regular Google as well. So it's a nice trick to use. We're going to hit the search bar again. And now we have 986 results. So that cut out quite a number of results. Let's add in the word Polish. And now we have 33. So the 33 results that we have are about um, Polish folks in Winona, Minnesota, without the word university there. It's also including the word Polish, so watch out for that. Now, uh, off to the side here, you will see that there's PDF, and then you also will see find it at WSU. So if it says PDF, sometimes it will say HTML. That means that you can click on this, and I'm opening it up in a new tab, and it will actually just take you directly to the PDF. So it just uh, goes right to it. Find it at WSU allows you to route this uh, request. So if you're looking for um, this article, we click on find it at WSU, and it will actually take you directly into the library um, and allow you to use our resources. If you're on campus, it will know that you are at WSU, and it will have this Find It option. If you are off campus, you're going to want to go back to the main page for Google Scholar. You're going to want to go to Settings. Over here, we're going to see Library Links. And we want you to search for the name of the university. We'll click on Search there. And because we're on campus, it knows uh, Winona State University. But when you search Winona State University, it'll have these boxes, and you can check them. Um, and uh, that will help Google Scholar know that you're a Winona State student so that you can be routed through um, and have access to articles um, that are in our databases that you otherwise would not have access to. Um, so we're going to repeat that search one more time. If you're interested in getting the citation information for an article, you'll see Cite. And it will give you options in a number of different citation styles. You can copy one of these citations, you can paste it into um, your references. Do keep in mind that Google Scholar is just a machine, so it's not necessarily understanding some of the more detailed aspects of doing citations. So you do want to check to make sure that the citation is correct. If you need any help with that, that's something that we in the library can help you with. The last thing we'll do is show you how to get an article through interlibrary loan using Google Scholar. We're going to close out of this site um, by box right here. So I'm actually going to do um, total knee replacement is a separate example. And uh, once we do a search for total knee replacement, you will see that some um, articles do have the PDF over here. Some do have the link, find it at WSU, but some have nothing. So you can still get this article. But what we're going to do is look over here. So say, for example, if you really want this article from 1973 about total knee replacement or any other article that does not have a link immediately available, we can click on More and then find it at WSU. Doing that will take us to this screen right here that's basically analyzing, trying to determine if there's another way we can request it through interlibrary loan. You'll be asked to enter in the code on the back of your Warrior ID. Um, you type in your password, which is usually your last name. You log in, and then it will take you to a screen 
that uh, it actually populates all of the information about the article in this form. You agree to the terms and then you click submit and you should expect to receive that in anywhere from one to five business days. It really does depend on the article. To learn more about Kruger Library, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube account, or you can click on Ask Us and be directed to our frequently asked questions and contact information.